Hello everyone, Josh your boy here, and in this video, as you can see, I'm going to be talking about this thing right here that you're seeing in the case. So I have not found any YouTube videos talking about this device, and I haven't found anything else online talking about this specific model, because, uh, er, other than where I've ordered this on eBay. So, let's open this up. And here it is. A Quasar VM22 SVHS, oh wait, SVHS camcorder from 1988. Now, when this came, and as I'm recording this, it didn't come with a battery. So I'll just show you some examples of things. And and I'll add in some video I record after I get the battery in post. So yeah. So there's a fade, backlight, gain up, a strobe effect, high speed shutter switch, uh wipe. Um, still and select, and then this off button just turns all of this off. And then recording review, which shows the last five seconds of what you've recorded, or five or three seconds, something like that. And that's to select your tape weight. No, that's to turn the SVHS mode on or off, and that's indexed. And this is a speed selector between SLP which will allow you to record six hours on a two hour tape or SP which is just regular two hours and then this is for setting the date and time and then I don't know exactly what these are for but it says counter so let's get this thing set up and I'll show you a little bit more about it Okay, so you turn it on by sliding this power switch over and it pops back. And then uh, here's the eject button right here, which is just kind of cool. This has a, a motorized ejector rather than it just popping out. See, ain't that neat. And then also has this right here which automatically switches it from camcorder mode to VCR mode and then here's a record button which you would have something put in the input part to use it as a VCR and have something hooked into it to look at through that and then you press record and play at the same time to record what's input through that I haven't tried out the dub function yet, but I will at some point. And then of course, rewind and play. And there's a pause button. And there's a stop button like every regular VCR has. And then on the back, that's the battery slot, which like I said, I don't have battery yet. And there's a button to eject the battery. And then here's a switch to turn editing on or off. And then here's the tracking switches, and there are remote outlet and a headphone outlet, and then S video in, S video out outlets. So, and uh, also, here's the record button and then the switch for a digital electronic zoom right there. But, if you want it automatic, there are these. There are these things right here next to the lens that, um, if you have it set automatic, the lens will move automatically. Uh, you see that? And then I, I let's say I zoom in. Look at this. 
course, if you don't want to do that like automatically, you can just do like that. That zooms in, that zooms out, and all that stuff. But yeah, this is a neat little device, and I'll tell you more in a bit. Of course, for y'all, it'll just be a few seconds. Okay, so let's go over the features of this camcorder. So, of course, right here is the fade button. You hold it down and it fades out and you let go of it, it fades back in. I'm not sure what the backlight does. I've tried that and it doesn't uh, really affect it from what I can see. And the gain up just makes it brighter and honestly makes it look worse. And then the strobe effect makes the video move a few frames a second, less than the normal 30. And then wipe, I'm not sure how that works. And then this still image or mix right here, you press still to freeze the video where you had the camera pointed when you press that button. And then the select button uh, chooses how it shows on the screen. And then off just turns all that off. And then here's a high speed shutter. There are four settings on here that you just slide it that way to switch between them. And then this is a mode to turn SVHS mode on or off. And then this record review button uh, uh, will rewind the tape a little bit and show you the last four seconds of what was recorded. Or at least what was on the tape prior to that. And then index, I'm not sure what that was. And then this switch right here is a speed selector between SP and SLP, also known as EP. And this is just date and time and counter settings. And of course, over here on the lens, we've got this green thing, which is a manual zoom lens. And then this is a focus lens. Of course, you can have that automatic. With these switches for the digital zoom. Or, I mean, and auto focus just by switching this over to auto. And that's that. And also... When you have it in VCR mode, which I already had this open for some reason, there's also a dub mode on the top here, which I have not figured out yet. But I will try to figure, maybe I'll figure it out at some point, and then I'll do an update video on that. So, that's it for this review. And it's... Actually, let me tell you what I think about it. It works perfectly. For a camcorder that's from 1988, probably not expected to be working right now, is working perfectly right now. And that's it for this video. I'll show you some footage I recorded and before the video ends. And until next time, Joshy Boy signing off, and God bless.